Now, this is quite a story from NASA because for the second time in history, a man-made object has left our solar system. NASA is saying the Voyager 2 probe is now in a space between the stars after exiting the sun's protective bubble, which is called the heliosphere. For over four decades, Voyager 2 has journeyed into the vast silence of space, far beyond the grasp of our solar system, past the distant orbits of Neptune and Uranus, beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. Launched in 1977, this resilient spacecraft has weathered the icy emptiness of the cosmos, transmitting back invaluable data that has fundamentally shaped humanity's understanding of the solar system and beyond. But recently, something unprecedented occurred. Voyager 2, the silent emissary of Earth drifting in the cosmic deep, turned back. The probe, following its seemingly endless trajectory into the void, shifted, ever so slightly, its direction. And in doing so, it transmitted a stream of data that confirmed what many scientists had quietly feared for years. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. For decades, researchers have speculated about what lies beyond the bubble of our solar system. The heliopause, long thought of as the solar system's final frontier, marked a place where the sun's magnetic field and solar winds give way to the cold, unfiltered pressures of interstellar space. Voyager 2 crossed that boundary in 2018, a monumental moment in space exploration. But crossing the heliopause wasn't the end. It was the beginning of a new chapter one that has gradually evolved into something darker and far more unsettling. In early 2025, mission controllers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory began receiving unusual telemetry from Voyager 2. For weeks, the data stream had become increasingly irregular. Subtle anomalies were noted in the cosmic ray readings and magnetic field measurements. Initially, these were attributed to natural fluctuations in interstellar space, perhaps a dense pocket of cosmic particles, or interference from distant stellar phenomena. But then, the spacecraft's attitude changed. It turned slowly but unmistakably against its expected trajectory. It wasn't a random drift. The movement, subtle and deliberate, indicated some force or influence had acted upon it, something powerful enough to alter its long-established course, and precise enough to do so with a sense of directionality. When the directional shift was first detected, mission scientists were stunned. The thrusters aboard Voyager 2 had not been engaged. Its systems, while ancient by modern standards, were functioning as intended. The turn was not an accident, nor the result of mechanical error. It was a response, an apparent reaction to an external stimulus. Voyager 2, as if startled, had looked back. The data that followed was cryptic and deeply troubling. Instruments on board recorded a sudden spike in high-energy particles, energies unlike those associated with typical interstellar space. The cosmic radiation levels surged far beyond baseline. More alarmingly, the probe's magnetometer detected a sharp, unnatural distortion in the local magnetic field. This wasn't the gentle bend of space weather or the influence of a distant pulsar. It was jagged, concentrated, and disturbingly regular. Patterns emerged in the data, repeating almost rhythmic fluctuations that suggested the presence of structure in what should have been chaos. At first, the team hesitated to draw conclusions. After all, Voyager 2 was over 20 billion kilometers from Earth. Even at the speed of light, it takes more than 18 hours for its signals to reach us. Instrument readings could degrade, and interference might warp results. But after weeks of cross-referencing with ground-based observations and simulations, the evidence was undeniable. The distortions in the magnetic field and particle flux weren't natural. They bore hallmarks of artificiality, of something engineered, something designed. And the implications were staggering. Voyager 2 had encountered a boundary, not the edge of the solar system, but a perimeter of another kind, one far older, more deliberate, and terrifyingly vast. The anomaly it had approached appeared to be a field, perhaps a kind of containment zone or spatial threshold stretching in an arc, invisible and silent, and now very much reacting to the probe's presence. The probe's course deviation then wasn't merely a turn, it was a retreat. Whatever it had approached had compelled it to back away. It was as though the spacecraft had encountered a warning. Further analysis revealed a chilling detail. Encoded in the electromagnetic disturbances was a repeating frequency, one not found in any known natural phenomena. 
The signal repeated every 61.2 seconds, like a pulse, each iteration slightly different in amplitude but consistent in timing. When translated into audio by frequency compression, it produced a tone that some described as haunting, a low, oscillating hum that felt almost organic. The consistency of this pulse, coupled with its effect on Voyager 2's instruments, suggested intelligence. Not life, necessarily, but intention. This was the confirmation scientists had dreaded. For decades, debates raged over the Fermi paradox. If intelligent life is common in the universe, why haven't we heard from them? The answer, it now seemed, was not silence, but distance, and perhaps deliberate concealment. The structure or presence Voyager 2 had brushed against was not a natural feature of interstellar space, but something hidden just beyond our sun's grasp, something waiting, something watching. The implications extend far beyond astronomy. If Voyager 2 had not just crossed into uncharted space, but had actually touched the periphery of another domain, one controlled, shaped, or monitored, then humanity is not alone, and we are not unobserved. The boundary is no longer theoretical. It is real, active, and now it knows we are here. The message embedded in the radiation pulses may not be communication in the traditional sense, but it is a response nonetheless, a response to intrusion. Back on Earth, the discovery triggered a flurry of confidential meetings across scientific and military institutions. The notion that an artificial perimeter existed beyond our solar system was staggering enough, but the fact that Voyager 2's trajectory was altered by it raised further, graver questions. What is the purpose of this boundary? Is it protective, a deterrent, a containment, or worse, a trap. The nature of the boundary's construction, if it can even be called that, defies current understanding of physics. It appears to distort magnetic fields over vast distances and exhibits properties suggesting manipulation of space-time at a granular level. If it's a remnant of a super-advanced civilization, then their technological capabilities are beyond anything humanity has imagined. They can shape the vacuum itself. They can remain hidden until detection is inevitable. And now, we may have provoked a response. No one knows exactly what Voyager 2 saw. The probe's camera systems were deactivated years ago to conserve power, so we have no images, only data. But what the instruments did capture paints a chilling picture. The region it encountered was devoid of normal interstellar matter. No dust, no gas, no background radiation gradient. A void within the void, unnaturally clean. This absence is perhaps the most disturbing clue of all. Something had cleared this space intentionally. It was not an accident of astrophysics. It was preparation. The idea of an interstellar quarantine has surfaced more than once in speculative theory, but now it is being taken seriously. What if our solar system is enclosed for a reason? Not to protect us, but to protect others from us. Or perhaps to isolate something dangerous within. Perhaps this vast cosmic boundary is not merely observation, it is enforcement, and Voyager 2, tiny and unassuming as it is, may have breached a perimeter that was never meant to be crossed. The spacecraft continues to drift, now stabilizing its course in a cautious return arc. It is not returning to Earth, of course. It doesn't have the fuel or momentum to counter its outward path, but it has clearly altered its angle relative to the boundary it encountered, as if instructed to leave or warned. Its instruments continue to report a decreasing field disturbance, indicating it is moving away from the unknown influence. The pulsing signal, however, remains detectable in the background, less intense, but ever-present. Even now, data analysts comb through every byte of Voyager's transmissions, searching for patterns, hidden layers, anything that might provide more insight into what it found. AI-enhanced signal processing has revealed minor modulations within the radiation bursts variations that suggest layering, perhaps even encoding. If this is communication, then it is occurring at a scale and format that defies conventional understanding. It may take years, even decades, to decipher, or it may never be meant to be understood by us at all. The fear that has gripped the scientific community is not born from fantasy or paranoia, but from the sudden confrontation with the unknown, the kind of unknown that stares back, the kind of unknown that has been out there, waiting, beyond the reach of our light, our telescopes, our questions. And now, with Voyager 2's silent shift, it is answered, not with a voice, but with action. That action alone speaks volumes. 
This is not simply a revelation for astronomy. It is an existential pivot point. Every assumption about our place in the universe must now be re-examined. We thought the edge of the solar system was a milestone on the road to the stars. Instead, it may be a gate, a wall, a line we were not meant to cross, and we crossed it anyway. Voyager 2 has no weapons, no shields, no agenda. It is a messenger, a relic of human curiosity and wonder, launched at a time when the Cold War raged and our digital footprint was barely a whisper. That such a fragile envoy could survive so long, only to trigger a response from the vast and ancient dark, is both awe-inspiring and chilling. No one knows what comes next. Voyager 2 continues to send data, but the silence beyond it feels heavier now, pregnant with implication. The stars remain unchanged to the naked eye, but for those who know what has happened, they now burn with a different light, a light of warning, a light of awareness. Whatever lies out there is no longer a matter of debate. It is real, it is intelligent, and it has noticed us. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 2 turning back toward Earth unexpectedly? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.